quickly before we get in this video, I just want to say I am hosting a Rocket League in-game items giveaway on the Nintendo Switch. And quickly before we talk about the items that I'm giving away, I just want to say thank you to my guy Dobby for basically sponsoring this giveaway. Now, he does not play Rocket League on the Nintendo Switch as much anymore, and so he thought it'd be a good idea to do a giveaway. First prize is going to be a Party Time Black Market Bill Explosion. Second place is going to win a set of Titanium White Equalizer Wheels. Third prize is another Titanium White Exotic, which is going to be the Titanium White Zowie Wheels. The information for the giveaway will be in the description below. Uh, go check that out, and let's get right into the video. This would be the best crate! Yes! Yes! The best crate! Yes! I have no idea what color that is. I actually can't tell. Oh, we have some lag. No way! Wait, Salamis! Oh. It is so far! Oh. I got my comment! I got my comment! I got my comment! Well guys, it is true. The title does not lie, and you probably already heard the news. Crates, yes, good old Rocket League crates are being removed from the game. Now, there's been a lot of mixed feelings on this uh, subject. I know already uh, a lot of great YouTubers have kind of built their whole YouTube channel and careers around crates and crate openings, and even I started doing that. I slowly phased out of that because I don't enjoy it as much anymore. I'll still, I gotta do some now on occasion, you know, before they go away in a few months, but uh, it was fun while it lasted, I should say. And as, as much as I like crates and I always loved watching people like Pix Pixel or, you know, XYZ get multiple white zombies, even if I got triggered at it, it just, it was enjoyable to watch. But even that, over time, you can only pull so many white zombas and make the same repeated video over and over. Slowly, I mean, I have started watching less crate openings and more gameplay and different other aspects of Rocket League. Anyway, crates have been out for years now on Rocket League, and releasing a, cr a new crate every three to four months with marginal items that doesn't affect the market too much really kind of defeats the purpose. So honestly, I like crates. I'll miss them to a certain extent, but I think it's probably time that they do leave the game. So real quickly here, I'm going to read um, the short blog posts from <clears throat> Cyanix themselves talking about this. It's pretty short, pretty sweet. So uh, here we go. Here at Cyanix and Epic Games as a whole, we're dedicated to creating the best possible experience for our players all over the world. In pursuit of that goal, later this year, we will remove all paid randomized crates from Rocket League, replacing them with a system that shows the exact items you're buying in advance. This is similar to changes implemented earlier this year by the, Save the, or by the Fortnite Save the World team. Rocket Pass Premium, DLC cars, and eSports shop items will continue to be offered for direct purchase alongside our new system. We will share more information, including timelines and rollout specifics in the coming months. So basically, crates are being removed, as I've already said a billion times in this video, but they're being replaced with a different system. So instead of opening crates hoping for that one black market, like I've done with 300 now, you'll get to see exactly what you're going to get. And Honestly, there are a lot of traders on Rocket League, and I know trading in game items has been a huge part of Rocket League, but there are so many people that they don't care to trade, they don't care what the rarity is, they just want to, you know, they just want to have a cool car, and I understand that. 
I have honestly started feeling the same way. I use like Bacchus mod on PC now because I don't, I don't want to go back and trade. I traded on Switch enough and after a time it just it got old. So I definitely understand this. The system will just be easier um, knowing what you're getting before you buy it. Earlier this year they had implemented a new crate animation and I think that was the first step into removing crates. Now a lot of people are probably thinking this is Epic Games fault and to a certain extent it is but I honestly think that it's about time that this happens. Again I enjoy crates and I have a lot of good memories of opening crates and creating videos about them, but having a new system starting fresh I think is a good thing. So I own Fortnite Save the World, and basically how it works is you can buy the loot llamas, which are essentially crates in Rocket League, in the shop, um, and then it shows you what you're going to get. And if you don't like that, you can wait until the next day. Pretty, It's a pretty basic system, but for people who are looking for specific items or just something to you know spice up their car without having to pay 30 bucks to go through a third party or have the trouble of getting scammed or whatever it may be I think this will just be an easier way for people to enjoy the game more. honestly I'm looking I'm looking forward to this I'm looking forward to change and we don't know all the details yet we don't know exactly what's gonna happen but we're getting change um, it's, I hope hopefully it's gonna be good at psionic games Psionics Games. Psionics and Epic Games, please don't screw this up. I, I don't think you will though, you've done pretty well with your games in the past here, so hopefully, hopefully that would be a good thing. Also along with this, this could, uh, this could bring an opportunity to help support your favorite Rocket League content creators. Um, if you play Fortnite, I'm sure you've at some point heard about uh, the Fortnite support of creator system. Basically in the Fortnite Battle Royale item shop, you can input anyone's creator code and all requirements for a creator code are um, a thousand followers on any social media. So it's not hard to get one, but you could put that in the shop and then um, when you make a purchase, you know, you buy a skin or an item in the shop, the creator gets a cut of that. And I think that'll be a good way if Rocket League ends up doing that with their new system to help content creators and the thing is I've wanted to support Rocket League content creators I, I enjoy their content so you know I want to do something like that but I'd rather not use their creator codes in Fortnite when they're not making Fortnite content and now I'll hopefully have a way to differentiate and use Rocket League for Rocket League and Fortnite for Fortnite. That's another thing that could be coming it's definitely not confirmed but given that Epic Games is taking over and they're following a similar style of shop, I could definitely see that happening. Um, we've also got Rocket Pass 4 coming up. It's a more DLC and esports shop stuff. So that's all, all going to stay the same. It's just the crates that are going to change. This could be interesting because I don't know what it'll do with trading. I don't know if in-game trading items will exist anymore. I'm thinking it will, but it's not confirmed. So again, I think it's a good change. I'm interested and excited to see what happens. And hopefully for the Rocket League YouTubers, they find some other kind of content to get into. Or even if it still is Rocket League, it just, it won't be crates. And I'll still watch it because it's not about the crate opening as always. It's more about the content and the person himself. So anyway, that's my take on that. Another factor to this decision that I think really affected it um, as a whole is Rocket League actually just got approved in China as a game and it's going to be free to play. So I think that's another reason why they're uh, doing away with crates is they'll probably do that before the game releases in China and then it'll just be one easy system. They won't have to go back and change that if they want to. And the amount of people that I think will catch on to Rocket League in China will be insane. We'll have so many more players. It'll make for better all CS. It'll make for so much more content. And I'm really excited for that because you know, you can't get enough Rocket League content, even if they don't speak English. Even if, even if not as many people as I think end up playing in China, I think it'll definitely help 
you know get the game out there more not that it isn't already but it'll really help to back it up and push it out even more um, and get more people into it which is which is always good so anyway that that's basically my take on this um, again I'm excited for it a little bit a little bit nervous not gonna lie I just want to say final good luck to all the Rocket League content creators, especially the guys who open crates and do trade-ups like XYZ, Pick a Pixel, Zenic. You, you know you know who I'm talking about. They're all out there and uh, hopefully they can find a new way to do content. So I'm looking forward to that and again I'm looking forward to this update and seeing what's gonna happen with this. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Looking forward to this update. Peace.